To put it simply, heart failure is the inability of the heart to function well to meet the needs of the body. When the heart is not able to pump out enough blood, it is known as heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Ejection fraction is the fraction of the blood ejected out from the filled heart. The lower chambers of the heart fill when they relax after a contraction. As an example, if left ventricle, the lower left chamber, has 100 ml blood after filling and 70 ml is ejected out during the next contraction, the ejection fraction is 70%. In heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, it is below 40%. Some persons have a stiff left ventricle due to disease which cannot relax and feel well. They have a normal ejection fraction typically above 50%. This is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction in simple terms. When the heart is unable to relax well and fill properly, filling pressures rise in an attempt to maintain a good output. This means that pressure in the left ventricle when it relaxes is higher. A higher pressure in the left ventricle is transmitted back to the left atrium, the upper chamber from which it receives blood when it relaxes. A rise in left atrial pressure is in turn reflected onto the pulmonary veins which bring oxygenated blood to the left atrium from the lungs. Increase in pressure in the pulmonary veins increases the pressure in the small blood vessels of the lungs known as capillaries. Please view the full version of this video at my Cardiology Talks channel and subscribe for updates. Useful for early career medicos and paramedics. Link given below this video.